Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a not so brand new day. Look at this cute mug. Did I show you this mug yet? My sister-in-law bought me this mug. It's so freaking cute. It says Booyah. Had a doctor's appointment. I'm trying to find a primary care doctor. I don't like doctors. I think a lot of it has to do with the way that I was raised. I just, I don't like going to the doctor. I get very worked up about it. I haven't been feeling great. You guys know, I keep talking about how my anxiety is through the roof. I've had two like episodes where I just see white and then I get really dizzy. The first time it happened, I think it was because it was hot out. I think it was like heat induced. But then the second time it happened, it felt more, like the first time I felt it throughout my body, you know, like when you get overheated and your body just like can't regulate its temperature. So I was just like hot and then like pouring sweat. And then the second time it felt more of like a chest head thing. So anyway, I'm just, I'm trying to get myself together. My doctor's office pinged me last night. I was like, oh, make sure you fast. I went, I got my physical. She said everything looked good as far as she could see, which is great. I will take that. I had blood work done. And I can't tell you the last time that I had blood work done either. So I just wanted to share that. If you are someone that doesn't like the doctor, like honestly, it was not nearly as bad as I had made it in my head. Especially those of us who have anxiety, we make things in our head such a bigger deal than they actually are. Um, so yeah, I got my blood test today. I'll hopefully have my blood test results tomorrow. Hopefully I can get my mental and physical health in check. But I wanted to share that because I know I cannot be the only one that is like petrified of going to the doctor. So I worked out, um, I hair oiled, which is why my hair is slicked back. I hair oiled this morning before I went to the doctor so that it could sit in my hair for a bit. I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna do my hair. We're gonna do our hair together. I have the Dyson Airwrap, I never use it because I just feel like the curls never stay in my hair but I bought duck clips so I want to try them with you. I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to finish watching a vlog. Victoria McGrath just uploaded a vlog this morning so I've been watching that. I love that her vlogs are like an hour long. While I watch Victoria I finally made myself some lunch because I haven't eaten today. I've been fasting. Mike said that this is the best thing I've ever made. I will take it as a compliment but also I just feel like a pasta salad I feel like that says a lot about my cooking skills. If the best thing I've ever made is a pasta salad, you're not a good cook if the best thing you make is a pasta salad. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna say that about myself. The peppers in here are so good. Seeing as I've been running errands all day today, all day today, and I have more to run. Side note, this drawer has been broken forever. It's so annoying because it gets stuck right here. And then I have to like gently, which I'm not gentle. Anyway, I was just leaving clearly because I had my sunglasses on. I wanted to mention this because I uploaded my handbag video, my handbag collection video. And I mentioned that I highly regretted this bag. Oh, also in that video, I said that I don't use this anymore because I've been using this like canvas bag that was like a freebie. It's so freaking good, this bag. But anyway, I wanted to mention this bag because I feel like if you are a woman who is on the go, throw your crap in your bag and then hop in your car. I'm not in my car a lot because I commute to and from New York City. So, and I have to carry my laptop, which if you watched my handbag video, this is all a repeat of what I said in that video. This is my commuting bag, this hideous to me backpack. But let me tell you something, I've had this thing for years. And if you're a commuter or if you're just thinking about a sturdy travel backpack, like this chick, I abuse her. And all I do is clean her up with some warm water on a toothbrush and she's like brand new. But anyway, she's away, which I love when I put her away because that means I'm not commuting to work anytime soon. But this today, like going to the doctor, doctor. I'm about to go to UPS. I need to go to the post office. Like this running errands like in town. I would use this all the time. It's a bucket bag but it's also very narrow and because it has the zipper it makes it more constricted. So if you put a laptop in this bag you can't fit much else. Like I could fit my laptop, my wallet, and a notebook but then that's it. If you're someone that needs to bring your laptop while also carrying other stuff like a decent amount of other stuff this bag is not the bag for you. I have so much work to do. I need to shower. I need to wash my hair and I need to get ready for date night. So let's go. Let's go to UPS. Oh my God, I'm having trouble speaking today. You know what's so funny? When I went to the doctor, me and the nurse both couldn't get our words out. She was like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. Cause I can't speak either. But my mom bought this for herself and it didn't fit her. These are gap body tank tops. I'm wearing the black one, obviously, but they have the thinnest kind of like sports bra. Just like a little bit of support, but it doesn't feel like any support. This is so nice. My mom bought a medium. These definitely run 
small. This fits me like a small would fit me. I'm just gonna slap some makeup on my face. I wanna look cute. I've really been putting in an effort into the way that I dress. I feel like I say this all the time, but it really makes such a big difference in my mental health when I put effort into the way that I look. It just makes me feel more confident. I was actually having this conversation, I was about to say with my mom, but I really didn't have the conversation with my mom. I had the conversation with my journal. The days that I work from home, in the moments that I get really anxious, those are the moments that I like to take my journal out. How I was doing it before, and I feel like, you know, everyone's different and you gotta do things the way that they work for you. I was waking up in the morning, having coffee, and then the first thing that I was doing was journaling. And I felt that I was kind of just like repetitively talking about the same things. Whereas if I'm like going about my day, for instance, the other day I got an email from someone and it just like really sent me. I just stopped in that moment and was like, what about this email is triggering me? And then I started journaling about it. I used to be more comfortable with like sticking up for myself, saying how I feel. And then I feel like COVID happened. And then my dad got sick and my dad passed. And I feel like I don't speak my truth. Not that I'm lying though, but you, you know, like if you and I are having a conversation and I don't agree with you and you and I aren't close enough where I feel comfortable saying like, hey, I don't agree with you. I also think like the times are different. I feel like everyone has an opinion yet no one is allowed to have an opinion. I feel like COVID being inside, not really communicating with people, skewed how I interact with people. And then also, I don't know what it is, but losing my dad, I'm so anxious and I can't take much more. Have you ever been in that situation? I really am struggling still to be able to handle things because my thought is like, I'm on the brink of what I'm not sure, but I, I hate this brush though. This brush is gonna send me. I just emotionally can't handle more than I have in this very moment so anything will send me like i remember last year brogan was having trouble going to the bathroom and he was really constipated i was a mess like i took him to the vet and i was unwell like i was convinced that the vet was gonna come back and basically tell me that he was like dying because my anxiety is just like cuckoo -cuck chew she's a little crazy it was not normal like mike was like you need to take a chill like nothing's even happening but my head was just going in a million directions. And I was telling myself that God forbid, if anything was wrong with him, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Like I wouldn't, I convinced myself that the worst thing was gonna happen. Thank God nothing happened to him. And thank God he was fine. In my brain, I was kind of just like, if anything happens to him, that's it. That's it, I'm throwing in the towel. I just, I don't know. And it's really crazy and it's a little, it's, I don't know. I just, it's nuts. And I keep saying, I don't know. And when I edit my videos back, it drives me crazy, crazy. It drives me crazy how many times I say, I don't know. But that is just the state of being which I'm in. Going back to confrontation, because I totally forgot what the hell I was saying. A lot of the times people rub me the wrong way and I don't say anything. But then when I don't say anything, I'm harboring that feeling. I'm someone where I have always, I've always struggled to bite my tongue. I'm the kind of person where I need to say how I feel. Otherwise it like festers inside of me because I just hold every little thing inside recently. I think that's contributing to this like, panicky feeling. I'm trying to figure out how best to go about it. I spent the last weekend, if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen, with my two girlfriends. They came and they spent the weekend with Mike and I down the shore. We had such a fun time. I had the best time. I've had friends like really come and go throughout my life. Honestly, strange. I am a girl's girl. I really think I am. I love supporting women. I'm not someone who like sees someone striving and I'm not jealous. I'm oftentimes like not intimidated by other women either, but I feel like I kind and, I, and I, I feel like this sounds conceited. I don't know. I feel like I oftentimes intimidate other women, which is why women don't like me. I had one girlfriend who I was like, like literally considered her sister. She was friends with my family. She was super close with my sister. Plop her into the Tarantola sisters and she was one of them. I don't really know what happened, but her and I had a falling out and I haven't spoken to her in years. And I think it's like the weirdest thing. It was a weird ending. There really was no ending. There was no closure. And then I had a girlfriend who I was really close with in college. And I don't really know. That kind of just ended too. I don't want to put like words in people's mouths, but I feel like I'm like the convenient friend. I've always worked. So consequently from working, I've always had a bit of like 
cash because I work. So I oftentimes feel like people used me and I don't wish ill upon any of these people who I've been friends with. I also feel like I have many a times tried to open up to people in certain circumstances. You know, I went through something traumatic and I tried to open up about it to my friends at the time and, and I wasn't really met with understanding. I'm not friends with them anymore. I just, I have a very weird relationship with girls, but I like really wanna be a girl's girl. Like. I love looking out for people. I love creating opportunities for other people. And I love empowering women. That's the driving force, I think, behind everything that I do. I don't know, it's just really nice because I feel like I'm in a stage where I have two really good friends, Katie and Bailey, I love them. To spend a weekend with two women who I consider really good friends is a big deal for me. Friendship as an adult is so different than friendship as a kid. I don't have time for people where I feel like I can't speak to them or be honest to them. If I can't tell you my opinion. Like you don't have to agree with my opinion. I'm not looking for like, yes, ma'ams. You know what I'm saying? But I need to feel comfortable enough to tell you how I'm feeling in a moment or to give you my opinion on something. And I don't know what it is. I used to just give unsolicited opinions, but I really don't feel like I do that anymore. I feel really sensitive. And I think the sensitivity stems from, again, I really can't handle much. So I feel like in not being able to handle much, kind of like protecting myself. I don't voice my opinion because I don't want to get into a fight with people because I can't handle it. It's weird that I sit here and talk about my mental health on the internet and I, I really do. I sometimes do think that I might share a bit too much. What else is there to talk about? Mental health for me is really at the forefront of my mind and like what I'm going through and I really want everyone, I don't know, I just want you to feel like a friend is sitting here opening up to you. I'm gonna finish my makeup. I will tell you like what kind of lip I'm wearing and whatnot because I'm not really sure. I like to pick my lip out after I've put my clothes on and gotten dressed. I dried my hair with the standard Dyson. Where did the head go? I don't know, but just like with the Dyson air wrap. You could use whatever kind of blow dryer. But before I did that, I put a little bit of the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. A little bit of this, because if you put too much, it'll make your hair greasy and your hair will feel heavy. For heat protectant, I like the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Light. I wanna try and Dyson air wrap and like curl the curls with my duck clips that I bought a month and a half ago and I still haven't used them. So I got an array. Oh. Of different ones. I like to use the small Dyson thing. You don't need this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm no hairstylist, so please forgive me. Like, grab it like that, and then pin it like that. Just like that. And then throw it in the back. Okay, so I did one side, although I didn't do the front, because I like to do both fronts last, but this is one side. And I keep dropping them. These are very slippery, okay? And, and it's not a big deal, but it's kind of driving me crazy how many times I've dropped them. Okay. Okay. I don't know, because they always look like this, honestly, and then they fall flat, and I just think it's because I have a lot of hair. My hair's straight and my hair's heavy. I took out this side. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna run my hands through the curls. Let's see what happens. This side looks very one big curl. Do we see what I'm saying here? And this side looks more like Victoria's Secret bombshell. How do we get, I don't know what I did. I think I messed up the front. I'm gonna let it fall for a bit. This is what it looks like. I don't know, what do we think? Hmm. I feel like it's, 
kind of gonna be the same, but TBD. I rented some super cute dresses from Rent the Runway, just because I feel like with Rent the Runway, I have been playing a lot with color. I don't want color in my closet. We've talked about this many a times, but I like staples. Whoa, I almost just smacked myself in the face. I love the hair color and I love my long hair. I just feel like it's, you know, in the summer, it's just like heavy and I don't want it on me. So it's like I curl my hair sometimes and then I just only to do that, like to just throw it in the back. So like my hair looks good from the back. Anywho, but I rented like all of these really, like look at this dress and we all know, we all know she's loving blue. But it's so pretty, but it's cold out. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? It's 71, that's a little chill. This I wore over the weekend and my nips, it was too much, but I'm probably gonna wear it again, so. TBD for that. This is like, again, I kind of think I'm just gonna wear jeans. Wow. I feel like it's getting dark out so early. So sad about it. I like the long days. Oh, I hate a short day. Is this like a Halloween themed dinner? Damn it. That'd be fun. It's a, a midweek date night. I like that. That's cute. Am I driving? Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think that's the vibe. It didn't really, like, uh, I don't feel like it really did much here. Oh, I need my, I need to gather all of my things. Everything takes such a long time. I'm changing the lid. Neck, shirt down. Maybe. Yeah. And I need my phone. I'm bringing this bag. I literally bring this bag every time. Yup. That's what I need. 14 different lip products. Ugh, I need a new perfume. I only have the one that you said makes me smell like an old lady, but I wore it today to the doctor and nobody told me I smelled like an old lady. Gucci Bloom, cause it's literally all I have. It's just, it's not giving, it's not giving. Do I smell nice? Guess not. Do you like my fit? I like it. Do you like mine? I do. Oh, I like the shoes. Very cash. You look very California. I'm terrible at this. You're always burping or you're peeing or you're flushing. What? On the vlog. You ready? Yeah. Oh, crap. Can you grab my phone? Yes, where is it? Where is your phone? Okay, I'll grab it. This is the fit. This is my Fendi bag. I'm not gonna bring my camera. So the rest of tonight's gonna be on my phone because my camera turns on and off in this bag and I'm scared I'm gonna break it. And Jemmy shoes because I hate to say it folks, but the season, she's coming to an end quickly. So I wanna get all the footwear and all the summer things in, but it's too cold. It's too cold for a summer dress, so. Wow, mine's so much more yellow than yours. Yeah, Looks water. like the pea cup I deposited today at the doctor. Yep. Cheers. Was that good? Well, cheers for the vlog. Cheers for the vlog. She has to go over here because I'm gonna spill something on her. That looks really good too. Ooh, that looks delicious. Last time I got fish and chips, it was like a literal like whole fish and it was really good. It was so good. It was really, really good. This looks really good too. This is the shape that I like. It freaks me out less. That's all the curl that's left is just the end of the curl falls so flat. I just, I feel like the Dyson is very particular. I think my hair is a little bit too heavy. I think like in the winter it lasts better because the air is drier and it's like more staticky and makes my hair more dry. I just, I don't know, but it's not giving. It's not giving. Did I give you a description of what I was wearing? This is the Gap tank top that my mom gave me that I love this. I, I honestly, this is like a shirt I could sleep in, live in, just like put it on in the morning and keep it on all day. I think I need this in every single color. It's so good, it's so comfortable. Jeans that I wear all winter and all fall and it's like chilly out, so I got to wear it today. I love jean, I love jean leather. These are my favorite, these are Hudson. And then this is a Ferragamo belt that was my husband's, but he gave it to me. And I ended up changing my shoes to these M. Jemmy ones just cause I didn't feel like wearing a heel, so. 
Dinner was so much fun. It was like honestly the most beautiful night out. It was so beautiful. I was gonna do something with you, but I kind of forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, you know what I was gonna show you? I was gonna show you. My one subscriber told me that I should try and put the Fendi chain, the strap chain that I bought, use that as a necklace or like a belt. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. My closet is a disaster. I really, I need like a good deep dive cleaning day. But tomorrow you and I, we're gonna go to the beach house because we're going to Point Pleasant on Friday. I need to go get some of the stuff at the beach because the problem is like when we go to the beach, we don't really go to the beach unless we're going down the shore. But then there's always like a one off in the summer where we go to a different beach and it's like out of the way to go to that beach from our beach home. So I need to go and get beach chairs. I gotta go get the beach umbrella. I gotta go get the beach utilities. I haven't used this yet, guys. And it's been a couple weeks since I got it. My Fendi. My one subscriber was like, wear it as a belt. I'm gonna see if I can find my chain belt. But she also said to wear it as a necklace. Is this absurd? Yeah, it is. Do I kind of love it? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda do love it. That looks insane, insanely crazy. But I don't know, if I was wearing like a slinky, like a slinky, imagine this top was like a black dress and like that, I don't know. It's a little absurd, yeah, but I would wear it cause it's kinda cute. I feel like it's a vibe. What do we think? You know, just like a pop of something to an otherwise plain outfit. It is very, it's cold on my chest. I kinda like it though. I could be into it. Then I wanna see, I think my chain, belt is here. I love belts. Ugh, I just, I want like a wall of belts because I love them and I wear them all the time. So this is obviously a chain belt. I'm pretty sure my Aunt Debbie gave this to me. I want to see if I could like attach it to this somehow. I don't know. Like that looks a little crazy. I gotta pull it tighter, right? I don't know. I would have to play around with this, but like somehow, I know it'll work for me somehow. I just like actually have to sit down and think about it. I mean, I just feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this despite not having used it yet. I honestly wish that this bag was gold and I would attach it to this bag. What about this bag? No, this won't fit around the circle. It's too small. I'm gonna see if I can attach it to that belt and we will come up with something. However, I think I'm gonna check out tonight. I'm gonna go finish watching an episode of Dubai Housewives and then I'm up to date as soon as I finish this one. It's so good, I'm loving it. Lisa, Caroline, and Talleen together, disaster. Like I just feel like they're very toxic together, but the three of them make great TV and I they make me laugh and I enjoy watching them. Could I be friends with them? No, lady and a little bit miserable. Like they enjoy talking about other people. That's not my vibe in real life, but for reality TV, I, re I fully enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's great. It's great entertainment. Hopefully Mike will be ready for bed soon because I'm tired and I wanted to canoodle on the couch, but you know, we need to make sacrifices for commitments that we make. He's doing like a 30 day workout challenge and I feel kind of bad, but I do like to bust him. As we all know, I like to bust him. We need to take my rings off, but we all know that I like to bust him because I did a 90 day workout regime. Nobody said anything to me about the fact that I look ripped or I look fit. Not that I need people to say that. I do it because it feels good and it's a good stress relief for me, but it does annoy me when he is like in the program and he's been doing it for like two weeks and everyone's like, oh Mike, what are you doing? You look so buff. Like I'm glad he looks good and I'm glad he's taking care of himself. Don't get me wrong. But nobody notices when I do anything. So I did say to him tonight, because <sighs> he was gonna skip tonight. And I had to bust him because that's what we do. You know, we just bust one another. But I said to him, I was like, you know, I did a 90 day fitness challenge and I only skipped one day. You're doing a 30 day fitness challenge and you're skipping one day. And honestly, he admitted to me that that kind of got under his skin and made him want to work out. And in hindsight, I kind of wish that I didn't say that though, because then he wouldn't be working out. And we could just be canoodling on the couch watching housewives together. When you got a bite, you got a bite. And I just, I couldn't resist the bite. I bit, I bit. And in the end, I deserve to suffer because I don't. I killed it, killed that 90 day challenge. And a man, a man could never, and I'm just saying that to like bust, a man could. But I just feel like as a woman, I feel like we're tougher, you know? We have like, we're just a little tougher, we're made. We're made differently, which makes sense because genetically we are a different makeup. I feel like this vlog is gonna be a lot of me chatting and I don't wanna do that. I really am loving this tank top though. Oh my God. I don't wanna take it off. 
And I feel like it's very flattering. Like it's showing off the muscles of the, sh well, I feel like my shoulders look pretty good and they best look good because I've been tired. And like the raises that Sydney makes me do, oh my God, I feel like a stiff pterodactyl that needs to be stretched. I was gonna film while I was here at the beach house, but it took me forever to get here. And so now I'm literally gonna paint my nails. This yellow, I started, um, I'm weird and I do my nails in, <laughs> in like um, different steps. So I clean my nails, I cut my nails yesterday during the day when I was working on my computer, like in between sending emails, I was like cleaning my nails. And then this morning, no, right before I left to drive down here, I painted them yellow so that they could drive in the car. And I don't paint my thumbs. I paint my thumbs last so that I can use them to like clean up the corners. But anyway, I'm painting my nails this obnoxious yellow. My toes already match this color. This is in OPI. This is one of their summer colors, exotic birds do not tweet. I always want my nails to be painted, but I'm so lazy with the painting of them. I need to stop being lazy because then every time they're painted, I just feel so much better. My number one tip to you is to let your nails dry, like each layer let it dry for a good like 15 20 minutes I'll start painting them at like 7 38 whenever i get home in my pajamas and i'm ready to sit in front of the tv it normally takes me like an hour and a half to just paint my fingers because i'll do one layer and i'll wait like as long as possible honestly i always like to wait at least 15 minutes like minimum in between each coat which is why it takes me a lifetime to paint my nails but honestly it will last longer on your fingers and it won't smudge as easily. Fun little fact, I showed up to the beach house. The reason why I'm here, I don't know if I told you why I'm here, but I'm here because Mike and I wanna go to Point Pleasant tomorrow and all of our beach stuff is at the beach house because why would we have beach stuff in our Northern Jersey home? I don't know. Once a summer this happens where one of us, most likely Mike, I don't think I've ever done this, but it's my turn this time because Mike has been at work all week. But one of us will have to drive down and collect all of the beach chairs and the umbrellas because if we were to come here tomorrow, and pick up the stuff in the morning like we'd have to leave an hour earlier It appears as though I seemingly came all the way down the shore just to paint my nails, which I could have done I mean granted I did collect all the beach goods I am also wearing the other gap body tank top that my mom gave me. I love the color. Oh my God. Just so you know, if you are interested in buying it, they're not cropped, but like the material is so thin and stretchy that it kind of like lifts up. I need to pack it up because it's 5'10". Of course, of course me, I'm leaving the beach house in the midst of rush hour, but the beach house did not go according to plan. I'm a little upset. Everyone, I'm watching everyone walk down the street to the beach and I'm a little upset because I want to be one of those people. I would really like to go to the beach right now. I would love it and just like read my book, but I don't have my Kindle, so I can't, I mean, I could read it on my phone. This is just, and it doesn't even matter that I was here for like literally an hour. Every time I leave this house, I'm in shambles. We're going to Point Pleasant tomorrow, but then we're gonna spend Saturday and Sunday here. So we shall be back. Don't cry. This is me telling myself not to cry. I don't think that you are crying about the fact that we're leaving the beach house. Maybe it affects all of us. I have no idea. All of the birds, my God, these birds are, look at that bird, he's big. Like the size of Brogan. I mean, like, look at these two. He's like a full on cat. Look at this guy, look at his wings, whoa. Look at all the birds. vlog is a bit chaotic. I feel like I've been everywhere in this vlog, but now we're at the beach. Yay. Yay. Your glasses look good on me too. I just wish they were a little smaller. I can't see. I feel I like, well, you have your hat on, but I feel like the frame fits me nicely. Mm. Do you think? I don't know. If only they were smaller, I would definitely jack these from you. No, sorry. Why not? Because I'd like to have my glasses back at some point. Mm. Do you think we're going to see a whale? Like I spotted the dolphins last weekend. You didn't spot those dolphins, but who did? Fine. I did. Oh, that's right. You them. did. No, I didn't give any credit. I just showed them. That was cool, though. Hopefully, we'll see something today. Aside from dog-sized seagulls, 
cat be a size. Tidal wave. No, I don't want to see that. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that at all. I got new glasses. I asked the lady at the store if she could help me because Mike didn't want to leave our stuff on the beach. And although I wanted him to come and help me pick out the glasses, but I asked the lady at the shop. She was so sweet. I was like, can you help me pick between these two? And she was like, put those on. And then she shut her eyes. So she would go, put those on. And then she'd be like this. And she'd be like, okay, let me know when the other ones are on. And then she'd look again. And then she made me do it like four times. And she's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a pain. And I'm like, no, I live for this. Thank you so much. I appreciate the dedication. And I really like them. They're purple. Very Jersey. And they were like 15 bucks. Not bad. I love, love cheap sunglasses. We're at the beach house. And yes, I'm still rocking my Jersey short. My Jersey girl as the woman who sold them to me, my Jersey girl status. This is the fit. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me, but let me see. This is the fit, my Amazon two piece. I got my Fendi bag because I forgot my Lululemon fanny pack. And I'm wearing my rainbow Yeezys. I don't support Kanye West or agree with any of the things that he says. I bought them before he went crazy. It's, it's, I hate it. It's giving terrible. It's giving terrible. So funny. And I don't know why I'm just like thinking about this. I feel like I've been recently, I'm rejecting a lot of who I am, but I've been reflecting a lot more. And honestly, the Jersey sunglasses got me thinking, sorry, I'm very sweaty. I've been walking for 40 minutes. I've only done like two miles. I'm just getting some steps in. Honestly though, honestly, my whole family's from North Jersey, but my dad's family, it's definitely more like South Jersey vibe. And clearly I'm in South Jersey because, I mean, not clearly, but you know, I'm down the shore, right? Okay, but we're all from North Jersey. Um, and I, I'm here for the South Jersey, here for it. I love South Jersey. I feel very at home with the stereotypical South Jersey vibe, you know? It's like my family. However, I'm not down for all the Trump stuff. And it really annoys me that people that feel like my people are not really my people. I'm quite literally melting and I know that this angle is a terrible angle for me. I know that this won't make sense if you're not from New Jersey, but if you're from New Jersey, you will understand the stereotypes that I'm referring to. Like my mom's family, Ginzo, like Nutley, Bloomfield area. We say Galamad, we say Gravy, all that kind of stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. Not down here, very different down here. Honestly, I feel like North Jersey gives me I don't know, I feel like those kind of people give me Trump vibes too. But down here, it's like more no shame in the flaunting. Like they really, they stand up for what they believe in, which I admire, but also not when it's Trump. I'm sorry. I just feel like it's 2024, it's supposed to be 2025. We need to keep on with the progressing on. We can't be going back in time to like very conservative thoughts. Like we need to be more woke, okay? I don't even think that that's a word anymore that's the word that comes to me. We can't be like extreme woke. We can't be like not woke at all. We need to find the middle ground, which I understand is the problem with politics nowadays. Nowadays, and I don't know why I'm talking about this. I just feel so compelled that Trump, the Trump house really triggered me. He is a little kookachoo, so I don't think that that can happen. Please God, don't let it happen. I was nice having a good time, not stressed. And then here I am thinking about the election and giving myself anxiety, but ah. Just um, thoughts, just thoughts.
a prelay from Gargiulo. So good. 2021. Well if you could have a million dollars, no question asked, or flip for a billion, what would you do? A million. What would you do? Billion. I just feel like the difference between a billion and a million is so great, it's worth the one and two shot. Okay, I respect that. That makes sense. But like a guarantee, you know? Here. Did you think we were going to sit outside? Mm hmm Did you want to sit outside? I did until the bee started harassing me out there, and now there's another one out there. Mm. Did we have placemats for in here? I thought we did. Maybe under that stool? Mm, maybe. That makes sense. Mm, it's possible to do good. I left my contacts at home and I can't see a single thing. Like, I can't even see if I'm in focus. It's Sunday. I just want to apologize because I feel like this vlog has been a little all over the place. I feel like my last vlog was a little bit all over the place. I'm going to try and order some breakfast at the cafe around the corner. Um, but I just don't know how I'm going to do that because I can't see. But I'll take you with me throughout the day. It's going to be like bits and bobs. Let me know if you like these kind of like mashups. I don't know, but I do. I genuinely want to know like what it is you want to see from me. I believe my last video that I uploaded was my jewelry video. So f kind of funny though, because I'm not wearing any jewelry today. I took all my rings off. I should go put my ring on and my earrings on. So I feel a little bit more sane, but anywho, I'm going to go to the beach. You're going to come with me and we're just going to enjoy our Sunday. Hopefully it'll be restful, peaceful, but I need to get a move on because my sister and her boyfriend have been here since like 8.30 in the morning and it's 9.45. So I'm just so late. I, I go into my day slowly. That's my favorite way to start the day. I actually saw this meme and I sent it to Mike because it was like some people need to do their chores before they can relax and some people need to relax before they do their chores. Mike and I are very much the opposite. And then the meme was like, and those two people marry each other. I'm the one that I need to relax before I do anything. And he is the one that he needs to get everything done and then relax. So it's just kind of funny. I don't know. Who are you? Let me know. I feel like most people are the do things and then relax. I'm just not. I like a slow cup of coffee in the AM. It's just who I am. It is like honestly the most beautiful weather. Like I really wish the weather could be like this every single day. It's so, oh my God, it's so nice out. I'm craving something chocolatey. My girlfriend Katie, when she came here last weekend, she brought us like chocolate baklava. I've honestly honestly been craving it every day since we finished it and i'm gonna have to ask her where she got it Ugh, i didn't get chocolate bread and i'm a little annoyed i got um lemon loaf which i know mike likes i went and asked the woman if they had any like chocolate bread and she said no they caught me my loaf they gave me my coffee and as i was leaving the um some customer came in and asked for a piece of the banana bread and the other guy that was working there was like oh that's not our banana bread that's our chocolate bread and i was like Sanjor. Sanjora. I wanted chocolate bread. It was labeled banana bread, so I understand she may have been confused. Not a lemon loaf kind of gal. Do you hear the cicadas? Oh my god, I didn't tell you. Last week, when my girlfriends came here, we were sitting outside at night, and Katie and I were sitting next to each other, and this Jagunda cicada came flying past my one ear and then landed on Katie's chair. Katie ran for the hills. Both of us ran, but her reaction time, whoa. 
I was highly impressed. You know, Mike always has to come up with something witty and now her pet name is Cicada, which is, is so cute. It's so cute and she's the cutest little Cicada you could ever see. Mike and I are having like the most beautiful weekend together. We spent a lot of time at Point Pleasant by ourselves. We did the beach here by ourselves. It's just, it's been so nice. It's been such a good time. Now I'm gonna go spend some time with my familia. I can't really see. I think that that's them. There's like no one here. Yep, there they are. My camera can see them before me. I can't see anything. 